It took me 24 years to figure out that I was in an abusive relationship. The first time that Kirby hit me, actually with a wooden paddle, was in 2010. He used to keep the paddle in the bedroom on the top of the bookshelf, and I believe this is the one that he used. We were having an argument in the kitchen, and I remember leaning over him, and I was yelling in his face. I had had it, and I was talking so fast that spittle was coming out of my mouth, and it was hitting him. And he said, you're spitting on me, and I wouldn't stop. I just kept yelling. And the next thing I know, he's grabbing me, he's taking me into the bedroom. He spanks me with the paddle. He would just wind up and go, and then the worst thing was he said, next time you do that, I'm going to pull down your pants in front of the kids and spank you. I started videotaping Kirby in May of 2012. Kirby mocked me for taking the videos. My wife thinks it's so cute to video me whenever we're in a discussion. He didn't have any fear or concern that I had these videos at all in my possession. It was four weeks until I was able to take that video to the police when I had given up all other efforts to help my husband. The state had actually offered Kirby a plea bargain, and they were going to drop all the criminal charges. When I heard that Kirby had not taken the plea bargain and that we were heading to trial, I was convinced at that moment Kirby thought he was right and he had done nothing wrong. Where are you in all of this right now? What, where's your heart? Where are you in your relationship with him and the future? We have five children together, and the oldest is 22, the youngest is seven. So there's a good 11 years of interacting with co-parenting that I have to deal with. Right now I'm protected through the PFA, which is a restraining order, for another two years. And then I'm officially unprotected from him just showing up at the door, stuff like that. And are, what are you fearful would happen if he showed up at the door? I mean, if just, and you open it and there he stands, what, what do you think? How far can he go? What, what do you think could happen? Well, who knows? How do you know when somebody has a limit? I could say, oh, my husband would never do that, but how, how do I know where the limit is? We had a dog. He ended up killing that dog. And um, it was because of over-disciplining that dog. And so as I think about that, and I think about maybe there was a point right there is when he changed, because he kept that dog in the house for five days dead and prayed that he would be able to bring it back to life. How did he kill the dog? Okay, well, he was a dog trainer. They would take the leash and the choker chain and they would either short tie them so they couldn't move or they would take that and they would literally take them over a bar and they would hold them till their feet were off the ground, they were choking, and then let them go at the final moment so they knew that they were boss and not the dog. So the dog. I mean, By the way, dog, that is not acceptable dog training. No, for anybody that is that's not. out there, trust me, that is not acceptable. No. Did he choke this dog to death? He short tied it in a stationary tub. The doorbell rang. The dog jumped out. I go st st downstairs, and there's my dog, dead. So. And when you say that he kept this dog, was he like praying over the dog? Mm -hmm. Was he mm -hmm. actually, in your opinion, of the belief? that he could resurrect this dog and bring this yes, dog back. Yes, just like Jesus okay. did with Lazarus. All right, well, because that's important to me, okay? That's delusional, and that's significant in terms of what you can predict or not predict. Do you have a story or a question for me? Click the link in the description and tell me what in the world is going on.